going on Fright Fanatics, RC Styles here welcoming you officially to the first week of the 2022 Season 5 Mutant Football League. It's NFL action live from Tokyo, Japan at the world famous Krokyo Dome. And the Terminators are being oiled and charged up in anticipation of a successful campaign today. Oh, that sounds like being at the Gage House massage parlor last night, Grim. Happy ending? Uh, well, if you mean getting tossed into the piranha tank in the lobby, yes, they're very happy, Grim. Very happy ending. It's the season opener, and I am ready for some football. Today's matchup features... The Carcass City Creeps take on... The Tokyo Terminators. Hi, everyone. This is Grim Blitzrow, and welcome to the season opener. Let's listen in on the pregame speech. It's game day here on the MFL Network, ready for a new football season to kick off. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Any thoughts on today's game? Uh, hope springs eternal on this. The first day of the football season, Grim. Well, that's right, Bricks. All the players hope that they stay alive because by the end of the season, half of them will be dead. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot three. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move to change his score, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. Hey. They run it for a yard. First and ten. Oh, and he intercepts the ball. Thank you very much, says the defender. Touchdown. trick the last play is a race how did they do that did they go 88 miles per hour just asking i don't know whose eyes the qb is using but can we get him some new ones and he sends him to the ground with an exclamation point and a well-placed cleat First and ten. And a hard run there picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. This is a 
first and long, and the offense jumps off sides to kill the ref. They say, we're mad as hell and not gonna take it anymore. First down in a mile. Pow! With the brain scrambler! Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And so at the end of the first quarter, we've got a scoreless game. Just like you love life. Second down, and we've got to pick up at least half of this. And he went to the air and came up big. And kickers practice for this kind of kick every day. Pretty standard. Nothing standard when you got blood thirsty. A fake kick! This is gonna ruin Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to the QB. Oh, it's the sticky ball. That looked like the QB's fault. If he held the ball spikes out like he was supposed to, the kicker would have never missed. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. You know, a lot of guys talk about stepping up their game, Bricks. He just stepped up and blew up. <laughs> He's got a lot of guts, doesn't he? And you can see the grounds crew cleaning him up now. Hot potato get And they take their first time out. Well, how predictable. Surprise us next time. Call the timeout during halftime. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. hot. Don't worry. They call the warp speed dirty trick. And run is good for nine yards. A timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. And that's a sack. Speaking of sacks, has anybody seen my powder? I'm itching like crazy over here. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smash a clock. That's not a great enemy. We're not talking about waking up at the crack of noon. We're talking about the MFL, you moron. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot. He's not going down. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. The quarterback shifts gears and goes into his hurry-up offense. And that is a big gain. You know the defense wants some payback after that. Third and two. Hot one. And he'll throw that one out of bounds. Yeah. 
And get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. He's got the distance, and the kick is good. They need a good return here to set up the offense. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is Lukewarm. And he's proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his clothing company Lukewarm Threads. Their marketing team hates it. And he punched his way out of that tackle. Unbelievable! He scores! This guy's a game breaker. Man, he returned that kickoff with an amazing run. Leaving the kickoff team in the dust and puts up six on the board. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Chris? Straight through the uprights. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. the MFL Halftime Show. We're at the start of the third quarter in a nail-biter. The teams line up for the second half kickoff. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. And picks up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a, uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. And that'll be second and eight to go. Hey. Nice pick up for six yards. Third and one. <laughs> well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. 
And he got it off. That's a decent punt. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. I had a dog named Snags. He got hit by a car and died. And, just... and like a monkey trying to fuck. Oh, and that's when it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. If I had all my teeth knocked out like that, I'd have them made into dice, Grim. It'd be fun to gamble with my own teeth. <laughs> and it's first and ten. The third quarter has ended, and we'll need a huge rally or a high death toll to make this one interesting. Going for two points. Two point plays are high risk, high reward, and it just didn't pay off. And now they're both screwed and stupid. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned on the light, it wasn't a bra in my bed, it was a chimp wearing a wig. a timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock and he better win. Second down and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. hot. And this guy looks like the defender's one feet just kicked in. Man. Guy's like a freight train. Nice pick up there for a first down. 
And the offense quickly calls their second timeout. That's how you do it. Do what? And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. That ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish defenses were made out of butter. That is oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. The quarterback burns his last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage and plays really fast. Why would they do that? We have to explain it to you. It saves the clock. Chips the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple game when it comes down to it. Hot one. Oh, the defender almost picked up the ball on that one. And the hurry-up offense wears out the defense since they can't rest their players. Hot two, hot, hot three. Oh, he just got crushed. First down and seven. Hot three. And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. How have they not killed him yet? He's wearing a new mink coat, for God's sake. Yeah. He's seven layers of smarmy, Grim. Oh, did we get out of They're back up here on first down. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Yeah! And the quarterback goes into a hurry-up offense and calls all the plays from the line of scrimmage from here on out. Pick up a nice chunk of yards on that pass play. Second down and more than the QB would like. The Terminators terminate the opposition and are victorious. It was a decisive win. The home crowd is cheering and throwing up at the same time. Too much excitement and booze will do that to you. And the players are celebrating as they search for missing appendages. They left it all on the field today, or most of it anyway. Boy, you're not kidding. The blood and gut sucking Zamboni is coming out now. Hey, if anyone needs a liver transplant, there's a nice looking one down on the 40 yard line. And let's hear what the MVP has to say. Oh, I can't wait to hear what the most valuable prickhead has to say. Blah, blah, blah. You suck. You take my fantasy game last week, you douchebag. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by the Hexon Oil Corporation. We drill it, spill it, and kill it so you can fill it. And all right, gamers, that brings us to the end of yet another video. So do me a favor. If you are watching on Twitch, make sure you hit that follow and the share button. It helps out more than you realize. Then I want you to head on over to our main page, which is found on YouTube. Over there, you can see all of our edited videos. Thumbs up the ones you like. Hit that like and subscribe button. Flicker ding dong so that way you don't miss out on more kick ass content from me and the Gamers Purgatory crew. And until the next video, I will be seeing you. Peace. Oh shit!
shit, what up? <laughs>